Alright, I got you. Alright, yeah, you know what that means? That means that if you're watching this video, you are an automatic noob. I'm sorry guys, can't go back. You press play, it's, uh, it is what it is. Uh, you are now officially a noob, and I have no choice but to call you one. But I guess that means that I'm a noob too, because I'm watching this video as I'm narrating it for you guys. So, anyways, you know what, uh, you guys are noobs, okay? So let, let, let's uh, let's get on with it. Now, remember, you can't go back. You are a noob. So this is going to be my guide to the ammo types. Okay, and let, let me let me be a little clear. It's not just like going through the ammo and stuff. I'm going to explain a few things. I'm going to debunk some myths and at the same time explain a few things about the ammo types. Because when you're a noob and you start out, you don't know what's going on. So you make certain assumptions about the ammo types. I know because I did the same thing when I started. And uh, we're going to talk about that. So now before I go into it, you guys see my credits, 1.5 million. Listen, I blame you guys, man. You guys, you guys are killing me. I had like 2.3 or something million or whatever. And um, well, the more ammo types, the higher ammo types. I'll show you guys this. I had to go buy some premiums inspector packs to get some of the higher level ammo types to do this. Now, the other thing is that, guys, PS3 guys, come on, don't get scared. I know you guys are thinking, wait, that's not the PS3. He's got an A button there, a B button. That's the Xbox. And uh, this, this is the problem, okay? I'm still doing the noob guide on the on the uh, PS3, and I will continue doing it, guys. I'm having a lot of fun there. But for this specific video, I had to do it here because I, I have all these credits here. And I couldn't, I couldn't do it on the PS3 because I still don't have enough credits to get all the level 4s and levels whatever. So... Anyways, just that's why it's going to be here on this one, and then don't worry, the next few videos is going to be gameplay and all that on the PS3. So now, but anyways, let's, let's get into it, okay? Let's not get noobish right now, and uh, let's talk about the ammo types. Now, first of all, let's debunk a myth, and I'm going to go all the way down here because this is, I know a lot of noobs think this right away. You see warp rounds? Guys, this is like literally one of my favorite rounds. It's just, warp rounds are so good. They're just so good. But, you know, as a noob, most noobs look at this, they look at warp rounds and see the word warp right in front of it, and they think, oh, I know what this does. It's a warp round. It's like the warp power, like the warp biotic power. So you're thinking, man, I have warp rounds? That means that if I put warp rounds in my gun, I'm going to be able to, hey, I'm going to be able to prime Vader biotic explosions. Vader so if I'm going to shoot the target Vader a whole a bunch of times, then I can just use shockwave or thrill or whatever and detonate it. No, 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 guys. <laughs> this has absolutely nothing with biotic explosions, okay, guys? Warp rounds is not for that, and I'm going to talk about what warp rounds really is, but I uh, wanted to debunk that myth first. Now, let's go through it, okay? Let's say, you know, matter of fact, let's get let's get through what rounds first but before i go into this guys this is not just going to be a guide about the ammo types this is also how it relates to cryo explosions how it relates to tech bursts and fire explosions okay i'm going to talk about those three because hey a lot of people have questions how do the ammo types uh, um relate to those three okay so biotic explosions not related they're not in here okay Warp rounds, don't look at it, it's a myth. But tech explosions, and fire explosions, and cryo explosions can be set up with ammo types, okay? Now, we'll go into that. But let's let's get rid of the, uh, the warp rounds. Guys, this is literally one of my favorite rounds. Now, if you look at this, okay, let's go to the highest one. Warp rounds 4 applies warp ammo for one mission and it says damage plus 60 percent that is plus 60 percent on top of your weapon damage okay so if you have a gun like i don't know let's see this puppy right here you know look at that damage bar okay you see it you see it you see it it's really good it's a good damage bar well that's plus 60 percent on top of that okay and that is great. That makes your weapon damage much, much better. So you want this kind of, you want this on like a claymore that has ridiculous amount of weapon damage. You want this on your widow. You want this on your snipers that have the that damage bar all the way up. You know, you want this on like your saber. Oh my God, it's ridiculous on a saber. Okay. 
So it, it, it increases your weapon damage. Okay, so this is great. Look, and there's a huge, huge leap between the threes and the fours. Got the fours are so good. So if you look at warp rounds one, it's still they're still good. Look, fit plus fifteen percent, two plus twenty five percent, three plus thirty five. Now from three to four, look at this, more than double. All right. Actually, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, sorry, I didn't do my math there. Almost double. Okay. And you got 25% more. Okay. So now here we go over here, and we got damage plus 60%. This is a huge, huge bump. I mean, this is huge. Now, the one thing is that between the three and the four on the biotic damage bonus, okay, it it does go. Um, higher uh, uh, plus you know plus 75 it's not too bad on, on the warp runs three and four now what that means guys if you're using it matter of fact you're using an adept most of the time and like 90 percent of the time you should be using warp rounds because what will happen is that you get a biotic damage bonus that means that if you use your powers first if you use warp if you use singularity you use shockwave whatever you use first okay this ammo type will you will also have a damage bonus on the target okay it doesn't mean that your biotic will be more powerful no it's that you have a biotic damage bonus be on the on the on the on the uh, on on the damage that you're doing with your weapon okay so now you get this bonus because hey you know you're in a depth you got a warp, you know, you're warping everything, you're sing hitting everything with singularity, and that's why all adepts should be pretty much using warp rounds, okay? Now, another great thing is that it does armor weakening. A lot of people are like, well, what, what's armor weakening, okay? Well, what it does is when you weaken armor, this should be kind of obvious, but anyways, uh, I'm probably going to get criticized about this because, you know, I'm sorry, guys, if I explain this a little bit not exact, and you can correct me in the comments, that's okay, but it... it pretty much means what it says it's weakening the armor enough so it could take more damage faster okay so if you got an if you got an atlas in front of you and you are hitting them with the claymore and you're hitting them with warp rounds okay it weakens their armor for four seconds if you see this for four seconds it weakens them plus 65 percent that means that their armor is going to get chewed down much faster in those four seconds than it normally would with other ammo types Okay, so let's, you know, that's that. And guys, this these are great ammo types for very, very, like, damage weapons. Like, for, you know, again, like I was saying before, if you got a weapon that has a large amount of damage, and let me show you an example. Let's look at the, let's look at the saber. Look at that. And you put a damage barrel. Let's just do that. Let's just put that puppy right there. Let's put that puppy right there. Look at that damage bar. Okay. It's a lot. You add warp rounds plus 60% on top of that. That is really good. Okay, that is really good. So that 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 you know the uh, the warp rounds are pretty easy. Uh, first of all, I wanted to debunk the myth that it primes biotic explosions. It it does not. I mean, you can shoot at a target. Warp rounds is forever. It only you'll never get a biotic explosion out of it. Okay, so noobs. No biotic explosion. Sorry, guys. All right, let's go on to the next one. Let's go on to phasic rounds. Now, phasic rounds can only go one, two, and three. They don't go up to four. Now, a lot of people are very freaking confused about phasic rounds. They're just very, very, very confused. Confused because guess what? They're they are what? They're noobs. Okay, they're noobs. That's why they're confused. That's why you're confused. Okay, because you're a noob. All right. So now let's go back here to phasic rounds. Now let me explain phasic rounds. I was a little disappointed with these rounds at first, okay? But then I realized, oh, these are really, really good for solos. Ah, now your head is spinning, thinking, wait a second. Did Invader said solo? Did he just said solo? No, he did not say solo. Okay, for you guys that are doing your solo mastery, phasic rounds may be good. If you're doing a solo, you know, against Reapers, and you got the Banshee, who keeps on regenerating her barriers like every other second. All right? So now, what do phasic rounds do? Okay, let's just read it real quick, okay? is applies phasic rounds for one mission to break through enemy shields increasing damage okay so you do get a damage bonus plus 15 percent that's for your weapon damage okay guys weapon damage plus 15 percent but now this is what's really good about this the shield regeneration delay 100 percent 
for 15 seconds. Now, why did, I, why did I save for solo? So let's say, you know, you're doing your solo, you killed everyone, but you got double banshees coming at you. They're coming at you, so you're shooting at them, and you take down their barriers, but the other one is right on top of you, so you got to get away. And you turn around to sh start shooting at the other banshee that you were messing up, and guess what? Her barriers are back up. Now you got to take those barriers down. You got to use an acolyte or you got to use whatever you have, your weapon, to take down those barriers again. And you keep on going over and over and over and over. And it just, it, it's just already frustrating you. So now with this, with phasic rounds, okay, this is what they're really good for. They're really good for Praetorians. They're really good for Banshees, Atlases. So if you shoot them with this, once you take down their shields, they, it will not regenerate for 15 seconds, especially for, for Phasic Rounds 3, okay? And look, uh, uh, Phasic Rounds 2, 15 seconds. And look at that. 15 seconds, okay? That's 1, 2, and 3. The only, <laughs> the only difference is between 1, 2, and 3 is the weapon damage that you get. But look, 15 seconds, 100%. 15 seconds, 100%. 15 seconds, 100%. In other words, every single one of these phasic rounds are excellent. And you can use any from 1, 2, or 3 on a solo and still have that 15 seconds that they, their shields will not regenerate. So I have used this myself, guys. And I'm shooting at a Praetorian. I'll take down their sh the Praetorian shields with, with, um, with the Acolyte. And then I turn around and I'm popping shots at the Praetorian. Because you guys know the Praetorian, I, I think it has like 2,000... 2,000 uh, armor and 2,000 barriers. So something like this would not allow the enemy to regenerate, especially in Platinum, guys. This is good for Platinum. Okay, so that's what it's about, especially you you're fighting collectors, guys. Pop this sucker on. Just watch. The Praetorians would not be able to regen, and you will be chewing down their armor because they're ton they have tons of armor. So you pop this puppy in an Acolyte, all right, or in your weapon. You know, whatever you're shooting at the enemy with, once their barriers are down, it will not regenerate 100% for 15 seconds. So 15 seconds, your entire team can destroy the enemy. And mind you, again, look, 15 seconds, Physic Rounds 1, 15 seconds 2, 15 seconds 3. The only difference is your weapon damage. And you do get a, eh, it sucks, but it's not that great. So, But that's what this is about, guys. That's what this is about. And also, it's really good for solos because, hey... You know, you got Banshees, you got Praetorians, whatever you're fighting. You know, you got the Phantoms. God, you hit them, you know, you mess up their shield. They cannot regen. So, for 15 seconds, you know, you're safe and you could chew down the enemy because of that. Now, let's move on to Incendiary Rounds, okay? Now, Incendiary Rounds, we're going to get into the topic of Fire Explosions, okay? And uh, this is going to be, that's why I left this for, you know, I started doing these, you know, I went this route because I want you guys to know about the good stuff, all right? This is good stuff. So now, Incendiary Rounds. The description is pretty obvious, okay? It does damage over time. Even Incendiary Rounds 1 is excellent. Look at that. You actually get a weapon damage. Again, that damage there is for your weapon, plus 10%. Damage over time, 10 over 3 seconds. So in other words, it continues doing damage on the enemy. So that's pretty obvious, right? Now, I'm going to go to 3, and look at this. The damage is excellent, 3, and then the damage over time is 30 over 3 seconds. That is beautiful. But look at it again, from 3 to 4, guys, this huge leap. So, and don't ever let anybody tell you that, oh, 3 and 4 is the same thing, not big deal. Guys, always. Between three or four, there's a huge, a massive leap. So you see here, damage, your weapon damage, 30%. Over here, 50%. That's 20% difference, okay? And then the damage over time, look, 30, 50. Okay, huge, massive difference. And it's, you know, anyway, so, so that's that, okay? Now, fire explosions, guys. Okay, let's talk about those because they're so good. They warm my heart up. They make me feel so warm. Matter of fact, they make me feel like... A noob. That's right. Make me feel like a noob sometimes. Make me feel that. It just makes me feel like that. So let's go back to. I'm sorry. I just had a moment there, just reminiscing a little bit about my noob days. And uh, all right. So let's talk about fire explosions. How does how do incendiary rounds relate to fire explosions? Okay. So now incendiary rounds prime fire explosions. Okay. The only thing about fire explosion with incendiary rounds is that for some weapons, okay, you have to do a little bit of damage with it 
with with your incendiary rounds to be able to get the fire explosions. That's why sometimes you'll notice you're using incendiary rounds one, and you shoot like eh, like one bullet at the target, and then you do your overload or whatever power to detonate it, and nothing happens. It's just like a regular, you know, whatever. Now. You need to do a little bit of damage. So your weapon should... If you have a weapon that does not have a lot of damage, okay? Um, you should... You, you, then you should be able to... You need to hit the, the enemy target quite a few times. You know, if you, you have a really weak uh, uh, gun, just make sure you pop quite a few bullets or clip into him before you use your overload. The moment you use your overload... And by the way, guys, fire explosions do not have to be done on the enemy death they can be done on the enemies immediately okay so in other words you, sh you hit the enemy with your weapon you, you shoot at them hard and then you use certain powers okay certain capabilities to detonate what the incendiary rounds have primed which is a fire explosion so now let's talk about the detonator powers yes I'm gonna give them to you oh so what can you detonate fire explosions with what power so let's talk about it you could detonate them with arc grenades biotic charge okay you ever notice that vanguards or anybody you, you you know you shoot with the acolyte or you shoot with a you know with a good weapon at the character with a shotgun or whatever and then you do a charge and immediately there is fire explosion okay and definitely helps out biotic slash all right guys biotic slash is definitely 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 good okay and then we have carnage cluster grenades okay combat drone guys when the, the the combat drill detonates from the from the engineer, when it detonates that if it's set up to for the detonate evolution, it will create a fire explosion, concussive shot. So you got the, the human soldier running around, you got incendiary rounds, concussive shot, bam. All right, decoy when it explodes. Yeah, you didn't know that, right? Didn't you? You didn't know that. I know you didn't know that because you're new. You didn't know that. How can you know if you're a noob? You did not know that the decoy on the Salarian Engineer, when it detonates, if you have it set up for the exploding decoy, will set up a fire explosion, okay? Anyways, electric slash, energy drain, that's obvious, frag grenades, homing grenades, incinerate. Oh, incinerate is so good. Lift grenade, Nova, overload, face disruptor, proxy mine, shockwave, all right? Snap freeze, sticker grenade, throw, and warp. Warp is uh, is it's the one that's the most obvious. Okay, so all those powers are detonator powers that will create a fire explosion. All right, and those will be absolutely awesome. Now, let's move on. I, th I think you guys got it. I think did you guys get it? All right. Uh, I I don't know. You guys are very quiet. I can't quite tell. Uh, you guys, you guys, whatever. I'm gonna move on. You noobs are not really talking back at me right now. I don't know what I don't know what's going on. But anyways, let's go into explosive rounds. I gotta be honest with you guys. These rounds a little disappointing to me. Um, and I I just want to go through them really quickly and just get through them. And again, guys, remember. Yeah, that's right. You're a noob. I just wanted to call you guys that for a little bit because you know I, I'm a noob too. So I just want to make sure that you guys are noobs with me and you guys know it. So let's go to explosive rounds. Okay. Explosive rounds are really, really good for the lower difficulties. Okay, um, they're good for like bronze, silver, and gold somewhat. Okay, they're pretty decent in gold somewhat, but in platinum, guys, I they they really they're not really that great. Okay, now, well, what do these puppies do? I mean, it kind of tells you. There's an explosion damage. It's it's explosion damage 250 points. That looks like it's a lot, but it r really it's not. Explosion damage per shot is 30 percent. The explosion radius that's what's really important. The 2.5 meters. So you look at this, 1.5 meters. That's you know they're they're all pretty good in the sense of the 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 um, the range. Now, so if you have a weapon and you know this is this is where it works really really well. Um, if you use it on a weapon like the Falcon, okay. So let's look talk about the weapons that the, that that ammo type will be good with, okay? So the explosive rounds I'm going to recommend, all right? I'm going to recommend the Falcon. Why? Because the Falcon has an area of effect on each shot. So in other words, when you shoot the Falcon, pretty much every ammo type that you use will affect a certain area. I don't know, I don't know the exact um, the exact 
distance from the shot, but it, it has an area of effect, okay? So now the Falcon is literally like the best weapon for like that ammo type because what will happen is when you shoot the, the, the Falcon into a mob of enemies, especially Geth or whatever, it will affect all those enemies right there and it will stagger them, okay? Now, explosive rounds, that will be great with the Falcon. Um, that's it, leave it at that. And the other weapon that it would be good with is the Scorpion. The Scorpion is the same thing. It has an area of effect, okay? So the Scorpion, you know, because it, it they're, I guess, I guess you could call them explosive rounds. They're, they're explosive rounds themselves. You, you include the explosive rounds, the ammo type, and it will, it will constantly stagger and do, you know, explosive damage, which is absolutely good. So, you know, those are the weapons that I recommend. In all honesty, that I will tell you right. Oh, oh, here we go. And then the other weapon will be the Rieger. I've actually tried it with the Rieger. It was actually really decent. Um, it was really decent on gold. Um, it's not like incendiary rounds. Incendiary rounds is so much better on the Rieger. But explosive rounds work really, really good with the Rieger. Okay. And um, and that's and I, I would say that's about it. I mean, those are the only weapons that I really recommend for that ammo type. I'm looking through this. No, yeah, no, that's it, guys. That, that's all I recommend for that ammo type. And all honesty, oh, well, I'm weapon equipped. <sighs> you guys, look at you guys making me do this. I'm acting on noobish now because of you guys. All right, so that those are the weapons that I recommend for those ammo types for the for the explosive rounds. Now, what uh, what happens when you use the explosive rounds? Okay. You, you do get a max explosion damage. That means when it explodes, it does 250 damage on the explosion. Now, what I like about this, you see the explosion radius, is that when it explodes, all the enemies in that radius get affected 250. So it's not just that enemy. So you'll have a, quite a few enemies in that, that mob. Everyone there is going to get affected. They're all going to get 250 damage. I've seen it happen. I've used it. I've used this ammo type. I've seen, uh, uh, like, I, I shot it into a mob of, um, into a uh, mob of, uh, uh, G uh, uh Geth, um, Geth troopers, and, and, um, and they were surrounded by, um, Geth hunters. And I shot the Geth Troopers, and the moment that the explosive rounds blew up, now they don't blow up right away, they, they blow up like in two seconds or three seconds, I don't even know, it doesn't even tell you the time. The moment that it blows up, it staggers. So that's the good thing about this, this that it does stagger, so that's why I recommend the Falcon. The Falcon already staggers, and then the explosive rounds continue staggering them when it blows up. So you got nothing but stagger, okay? This is staggering power. You can stagger phantoms. You can stagger uh, Geth troopers. You can stagger the Geth. I mean, screw the Geth, you know? So that's what it, that's what's really good about this. It actually staggers enemy. But that, you know, that's about it. I, I really don't recommend it for for platinum, but I do recommend it for like the gold, silver, and um, and bronze difficulties. These work very, very well there. All right, so let's talk about drill rounds. And we're going to compare drill rounds to armor piercing, okay? Now, before I go to uh, drill rounds, now let me just say one thing. Drill rounds, does not, they do not go up to level 4. They only go up to level 3, okay? So now let's talk about armor piercing really quick, and we're going to compare both. Armor piercing, I think, is pretty obvious, okay? What it means is that it's going to pierce armor. It's going to do a lot more damage to armor. It's going to penetrate it and allow the armor to get weakened and just destroyed. Okay, that's why you can, if you notice, if you use this ammo type, okay, versus any other ammo type, or, or you know, if you, if you don't have any uh, armor piercing capabilities on the mods on your gun, the ammo types will allow you to chew through armor much faster than any other ammo type if you didn't have it on the gun. So now, Let's look at it. Again, the differences between 3 and 4, huge, massive. Now, these are the differences, guys. Look at the look at the penetration um, on the highest armor piercing. You see it? It's 1.5. The armor piercing rating is 90%, though. Okay? That means that that means that the the that that the rating on this ammo type Okay, is actually much much higher than something like the drill rounds. And look, let me show you guys this. Let me show you the differences, especially on the um, especially on the penetration. Drill rounds three has two point five meters. And let's look at armor piercing rounds four. One point five meter. The highest armor piercing rounds 
uh, 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 ammo type has just 1.5 meter. Now, you do get a lot more damage with the armor piercing rounds. So if you want more damage, you always want to go with armor piercing rounds. You always want to go through that. Now, why would you use drill rounds versus armor piercing? Armor piercing goes through, you know, it does, look at that, 1.5 meter. That means that you can still shoot through walls. I mean, you can still shoot through light cover, through light, you know, light walls. Even it's a wall that may look a little thick. Think about it. 1.5 meter thick objects. Okay, so you can shoot through certain walls. If you're like a, a Geth, especially with Geth Hunter mode, you can use the, the wall hacks and you can just, you know, shoot through walls with the armor piercing rounds. But now, with drill rounds, you could go through 2.5 meters, guys. I've been able to shoot at atlases. Okay, through thick, through the Firebase Giant, you know, those thick, 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 thick walls. I've been, I, I'm, I've been able to shoot through it because I know that the, the, the Atlas is there and I'm shooting, I'm shooting, I'm shooting and the Atlas is just going down. Why? Because I can shoot, I have a penetration of 2.5 meters. All right, guys? And uh, yes, I have damage. It's plus 30%. The damage is not that great. But the drill rounds are really good for Geth, like Geth characters. They're really, really good because they can see through the walls. They can see. And, and also, not just the Geth, guys. For, uh, for guess what? The little Volus. Yes, the little, little chubby guys. Uh, okay, guys, I have to say this again. You're a noob. Sorry, I just, I'm sorry. That was the, that was a moment. That was a moment. I had to do it. So anyways, so the drill rounds are also good for characters like the Volus. Why? Because they have their mind. Their recon mind could reveal enemies and you know where they are because you know where they are. Now you can stay behind cover, stay behind the wall and you shoot through the wall and you can hit the enemy. Okay? So that's what drill rounds are for. They're, they're, I recommend them on really, really high powered weapons, like high damage weapons. Cause you notice the damage. It's, it's good, 30% on the highest drill rounds, but it, you know it's not it's not armor piercing rounds, okay? Um, I've used it on the claymore, I've used it on the the saber, and it's just so so good, okay? Disruptor, okay. Now we're gonna talk about guess what? Tech bursts. All right, guys, let's talk a little bit about how okay how these ammo types okay like disruptor all right disruptor rounds prime tech burst now now the tech bursts from the ammo types are not the most powerful okay so don't always depend on the ammo all right don't always depend on ammo and i will i, I may do another new video about tech bursts and cryo explosions and all that meaning based on the powers but now here we're talking about ammo types so now how do ammo types relate to tech burst okay uh this i'm sorry disrupt around ammo types relate to tech burst first before we even get into that all right let's talk about it now it does damage it's not the greatest damage so you do have a damage bonus which i like i'm really happy about that that disrupt the rounds have an, an actual weapon damage bonus okay that plus 25 percent is on your weapon damage stun chance rating it does stun the enemies okay all right, so it does actually stun the enemies. Now, electric combo. Now, what what do you guys think the electric combo means? And I know that I'm going to get hit on this. There's going to be a lot of people asking questions about this. What does the electric combo mean? Do you guys know what overload is, that it hits multiple targets? Okay, now, when you're priming an enemy, okay, if you notice that there's another enemy right next to it, sometimes that enemy does get affected. Okay, they will also have kind of like they will also get shocked by the fact that this enemy is is primed. That he that, that enemy is stunned, and you see like for example, you shoot at a at a Geth trooper with disruptor rounds, and they start going crazy. They start like shocking and doing like the electro boogie, or you know the well. I'm sorry, did I just say that? Holy crap! Anyways, they start doing like a Michael Jackson kind of situation. Now. The other enemies around it sometimes it's very it's very, it's just very very low that the, the the chance that this will happen that they'll get affected. Okay, now the shield regeneration delay this is what this is good for. But now once you get their shields down with the disruptor rounds, you see this is a hundred percent for eight seconds. That is a huge difference. This is the difference between disruptor rounds and the phasic rounds. Now the phasic rounds still have a damage bonus, but you know. 
the phasic rounds, if you look at it, let's look at the phasic rounds again real quick. Phasic rounds 3, they only go up to damage plus 15%, but the the shield regeneration delay is 15 seconds. Now, the highest, the shroud rounds 4, shield regeneration delay is only 8 seconds. Okay, so that's why the that's why the phasic rounds are better for certain things, because the, um, the, the shield regeneration delay goes higher. Now, I like the shroud rounds a lot. Okay, because of the stun chance. Okay, I like stunning enemies. I like stunning them, and it just messes them up. And I love it. It's kind of like Overload when you have, um, when you have the fifth evolution to do. Uh, um, uh, God, I'm forgetting it now. What is it? I'm having a new moment. Oh, oh, okay. It's uh, something dealing with. Uh, oh God, I lost it. But anyways, it actually messes up the enemies. Okay. A neural shock. There you go. Neural shock. Neural shock on disruptor. I mean, an on overload. Okay, you see that the enemies will actually get dropped because they're weaker. Organic enemies. Sorry, that's it. Organic enemies, and um, they get you know they get stunned and they, they drop. Now, these uh, the enemies when they get stunned with disruptor rounds, they're not gonna drop. They're gonna kind of dance. They do. They're gonna do a little shake. All right. They're gonna wiggle their arms a little bit, and it's gonna be kind of funny as heck. But that's what they do, and I like that because then they're not shooting at me. All right, so that's what it does. Now, guys, let's go to cry rounds. Ooh, no, no, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Let's go back to the shroud round. Now, let's talk about tech bursts. Okay, so now tech bursts can be done in various ways, but <laughs> disrupt rounds do set up tech bursts. Okay, they do prime them. Now, how would you how would you set up a tech burst? You would you would shoot at the enemy with disrupt rounds. Okay, you got to make sure you got you know hit them hard with a few rounds. It's not just shoot one time and that's it. It's 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 on. You know, make sure you get a few clips depending on the weapon. All right. Now, if you have the Falcon. Pretty much the first and second shot. By the third shot, you're already ready to do like an overload. Uh, what I would recommend is just to clean out a clean out a clip, or if you have a weapon that has a lot of ammo, do half the clip on the target, and then do an o then do another power that would detonate for a tech burst. All right. So now in this situation, disrupt rounds. Okay. What detonates um, a tech burst on a disrupt round? priming okay when you prime a target with disruptor rounds now the powers that would set up that detonate tech bursts are the following biotic charge all right biotic slash carnage cluster grenades combat drone same thing concussive shot decoy electric slash energy drain frag grenade homing grenade incinerate I love incinerate lift grenade nova you guys the vanguard nova hey it does it Overload, phase disruptor, proxy mine, shockwave, snap freeze, okay, sticky grenade, throw, and warp, of course. There you go, guys. So if you guys have those powers on your on your characters, you prime the target with disruptor rounds. You pop one of those powers in, and uh, you can just call it a night, guys. Okay. So that's tech burst. Now let's talk about cryo rounds, guys. This is also a great, great power. Why? Because it also relates to cryo explosions. Okay. We're gonna talk about cryo explosions a little bit too. It also helps. Now, hey, this is not the only way to do cryo explosions, okay, guys? I just want to make sure that you get something out of the cryo rounds because guess what? You can read it pretty much. I think I, I can read very well. It tells you right there what it's about, okay? Now, look, again, cryo rounds four, three. Huge differences, okay? Now, what it does is the speed reduction. Guys, I love this on an Acolyte. I love this on, like, Claymores. I love this because when you're in Platinum and you have, like, the abominations coming at you and you shoot at them, guys, they run They run so fast. But if you're hitting them with cryo rounds, they slow down. They just slow down. They go in slow motion, okay? And because they go in slow motion, then you can kick their butts. Uh kick the butts and just mess them up. I gotta say, guys, because those abominations, oh, they get me. They really frustrate me. All right. So, anyways, do speed reduction. It slows down atlases. It slows down armor targets. I freaking love it. And it has armor weakening capabilities. Look at this. Speed reduction, armor weakening, and the effects. It even tells you 5.5 seconds. I've seen this, guys. I've seen like characters like literally like just slow down and then they just drop, frozen. I freaking love it. The freeze chance rating is 2.2. Now that's a little confusing to me, but. But I'm thinking it was a, 
2.2, maybe out of 5. I, I'm not exactly sure. That's the that's the one thing i got to be honest with you. I'm a little confused about. But, hey, and if you guys know it, put it on the comments at the bottom. Help me out, okay? But still, speed reduction. This is great for platinum, guys, especially if you have tons of enemies coming at you. Cryo rounds, I'm telling you, get a whole team with nothing but cryo rounds, and you see everything just moving slow, and you could do cryo explosions. You can weaken armor. That means plus 65%, okay? So that means that you hit targets with cryo rounds, their armor is going to get weakened. Their, their armor targets, and it allows you to do more weapon damage on that target because of it, okay? And it lasts 5.5 seconds. There you go. Now that's for Cryo Rounds 4. And look, all of these are really, really good. Cryo Rounds, I freaking love them. Now, Cryo Explosions. Okay, guys? Now, let me tell you a little bit about this. Okay? Now, Cryo Explosions can be triggered, okay, without having to kill the enemy now. All right? But the enemy must be frozen solid to do it. All right? So don't, don't think, this is not like the tech burst. Don't think because. Oh, okay, I primed enough of it. No, no, no. The enemy has to be frozen solid. This is the difference for, for cryo explosions. So in other words, you hit the enemy with cryo, you know, and then all of a sudden, like, you see the husk, mostly organic targets, like the marauder, um, you know, well, the phantoms don't get frozen, but, you know, all the other characters that can get frozen, like the even the, uh, the, the, uh, Oh my god, pretty much every mook that you can think of. Okay, the cannibals, uh the, the abominations, the the uh uh the the hunters. Oh my god, the hunters. You they have to be frozen, okay? Once they're frozen, okay, then you can detonate the power. Then you could do a cryo explosion on them, okay, with the following. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? I think you guys know the list now. <laughs> Okay, but it's a little it's a little less. But still, biotic charge. Now this is a new power that I didn't say before. Biotic orbs, okay? The little the little Volus Adept can set up cryo explosions. Man, this chubby meatball can do cryo explosions, alright guys? Alright, biotic orbs, biotic slash, carnage, cluster grenades, combat drone, concussive shot, decoy, energy drain, flamer, frag grenade, havoc strike. You didn't know that, huh? You didn't know that. Havoc Strike, guys. Okay, you have Cryo Rounds. You have Havoc Strike on your Turian. Do the Havoc Strike, and guess what? It does a Cryo Explosion. Okay? Now, Incinerate, Lift Grenade, Nova, Overload, Face Disruptor, Proxy Mine, Shockwave, Sticky Grenade, Throw, and Warp. The usual, you know, the usual, the usual combos. Okay, guys? So, that's how you do a Cryo Explosion with cryo rounds okay with those powers you make sure that the that the target is so, frozen solid and then you use the set the, the detonating power to do your cryo explosion guys all right i think this has been long enough guys i hope that you've enjoyed that i hope you realize that you are a noob for watching it and that's okay keep on watching it please comment rate up subscribe in this video i hope that you guys continue following me uh for the noob guys there will be more coming and uh, i think you guys will enjoy what's coming up next on those noob guys all right guys enjoy keep doing it out